Welcome back to School of Golf. I'm Sarah Brown, alongside the professor, Martin Hall, who recently got an up-close and personal putting lesson from a two-time U.S. Open champion. I did, the goose, Ratif Goosen, and how much I enjoyed that, I must say. Um, wonderful putter. Great, great short game. I remember when he won the Open at uh, Shinnecock. Fantastic. And here's a picture of him. You can see the width of stance. Beautiful symmetry to me there in that... Uh, in that setup, and when we when we film this show that will be airing very shortly, um, uh, he putted absolutely beautifully. Um, and how did he do that? Well, like all good players, the first thing he did, and we said this with Justin Rose, he learned to, or he made sure he aimed the putter properly. A uh, simple yardstick, we can do lots of good things with this. Little bit of teamwork coming up here okay. in a moment. But if you wanted to see if the putter face was square, you could just do this. You could aim your yardstick at a, at a if it was a straight putter hole, uh, aim it straight at it. Now, just put your putter on the end of that... Um, like we were doing with you were doing with the driver. It's, it's very similar, same thing, um, and perhaps that looks square. But most of the time, it will look a little open or it a little looks, composed. Looks a little open to me. Looks a little open. So yeah. the suggestion there is, you tend to um, have your putter face a bit closed. Learn to get it square. You could okay. learn to do it that way. The second thing where we could use a yardstick and Ratif did very well with certainly was he was beautifully balanced. Now balance would mean in putting that the weight is under the arches. So I'd want you to stand on my yardstick there and you would definitely feel the pressure in the middle. under the arch. Yep. Now, I don't recommend hitting putts standing on something like this because you'd have to make sure you've got it aimed absolutely right. This would just be, you can roll this putt wherever it goes. So I'm not whether it goes in or not, you're not really trying to hold this putt, but you're concentrating on the balance being under your arches. Although maybe you should. <laughs> maybe maybe we were aimed straight, but... Yeah, but you aim definitely that, can obviously feel. Straight. I can definitely yeah, feel you, it you in can, the middle of my feet. You can feel where it is. So let's move on to a couple of other things that certainly Ratif Goosen did beautifully. Um, the, se the next one would be that as he set up to the golf ball, and we all need this frame, you just, just set up to the golf ball, uh, and this would be teamwork draw. Just take your setup. Okay. So you want to aim the putter face correctly. You want to get the weight under your arches. And you could certainly, if you have no one to help you, you could drop a ball off the bridge of your nose and see where your eyes are. Mm -hmm. But I actually like to do this. I like to hold the putter directly above the ball. Mm -hmm. Now... If someone can do that for you, if your eyes really over that ball, you'd be looking right down the shed. No, I'm not. no, 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 I'm, not. no. I'm well, like come in on here. Then. Come on then. That Should would I stand be eyes closer? over the ball. So okay. this would be a good way for someone to help you. Yeah. And then the final way for someone to help you, take hit one like that for me. Okay. So the balance is going to feel yep. a bit different. By golly, I bet you feel much more over the ball. Over the ball. Mm -hmm. And let's just see if we can roll that. The aim looked beautiful there. Not bad, not bad. And then the last thing would be, uh, in terms of setup, would be this. Take your setup for me. Okay. And the flow lines, as I've heard it called by Dave Pels, I love that phrase. The flow lines that would go, very similar to the driver in many ways, the lines that would go across your legs, across your forearms, across your shoulders, would all be just about parallel. They're on, they're on a mini railway track. Right. It's a much smaller railway track than we had in segment number one. But setting up, there's your one railway track, and the shoulders and the forearms in particular, if someone can just help you with that, and then just try and give it a good roll down there. Beautifully done. Yeah. Now, setting up doesn't guarantee you'll knock it in, and certainly breaking putts, you know, you've got to judge the speed. But if you set up properly, you've got a very good chance.